Hi everyone, my name is Dan and I'm a mental health pharmacist and today I'm going to be talking about St. John's wort, mainly for the treatment of depression. So a little historical content, I was reading about St. John's wort and it looks like it was used all the way back in ancient Greek times. It looks like it potentially was used more as a topical agent back then because it looks like it has some antiviral, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial properties. So it was probably used more to help with wounds and um, other skin issues. And there's some evidence nowadays that it helps um, prevent scars and helps with wound healing still. So that still is a application of it, but it looks like nowadays it's used more orally and it's most common use that I've heard of is for the treatment of depression. So I wanted to talk about that um, a little bit here. So how does St. John's wort work for depression? So it's the flowers and the leaves of the plant that are traditionally used for medicinal purposes. It was originally believed that hypericin was the active component in regards to mental illnesses. And if you buy St. John's wort, it's usually standardized for its hypericin content. Most commonly, I think it's 0.3%. Yeah, 0.3%. But now it seems like there's evidence coming out that it's not the hypericin content, it's the hyperforin content. And what that does is it helps um, prevent the reuptake of serotonin, also has some effects on norepinephrine and dopamine. So for a supplement, it works fairly similarly to how prescription antidepressants work, which generally is also on serotonin and then and or norepinephrine dopamine. So it works pretty similarly to a prescription antidepressant medication. St. John's wort appears to be effective in the treatment of depression as well. So Natural Medicines Database, which is a big database of natural products, deems that St. John's wort is likely effective for the treatment of depression, which is a pretty good um, statement from them. I was looking at some clinical evidence as well, and I was able to find a few meta-analyses looking at St. John's wort for treating depression. Some comparing St. John's wort to placebo, and some trials comparing it to other prescription antidepressant medications. So one meta-analysis that I found was comparing St. John's wort to SSRI medications, which are prescription antidepressants. There were 27 clinical trials with 3,808 patients. I then was able to find a Cochrane review, which is generally regar regarded as high quality um, meta-analysis evidence as well, with 29 trials of 5,489 patients. And this looked at comparing St. John's wort to placebo, and then also comparing St. John's worts to SSRIs. The general takeaways that I was able to see from these large collection of trials is that hypericin extracts, which is what St. John's Ward is standardized for, seems to be more effective than placebo, as effective as SSRIs, and less side effects than SSRIs. So it seems like it's fairly effective for treating depression, but less side effects than some other options out there. So um, I was happy and surprised to see um, how strong the evidence seems to be in favor of St. John's wort for depression. The standard dosing for St. John's wort for depression is 300 milligrams three times daily. I was able to find some evidence that showed dosing up to 1800 milligrams, but just like anything, as the dose increases, the likelihood for side effects also increases. One of the biggest concerns with St. John's wort is its interactions with other medications. So St. John's wort is banned in France, um, Japan, Canada, the UK are updating labeling on St. John's wort products to show consumers how it can have pretty severe interactions with prescription medications. So St. John's wort is a liver enzyme inducer which means a lot of the different types of liver enzymes, it makes them stronger or they cut through other things a lot more quickly. So for example, if you're taking a medication that is processed through that same liver enzyme, and then you take St. John's wort that increases that enzyme, you clear that medication much more quickly. I remember reading or hearing about 
I think it was in the UK a while back, a patient that had a transplant. Uh, they had an organ transplanted and they were taking an anti-rejection medication. Well, I don't, I don't know, I'm guessing they didn't tell their provider or their prescriber, but they started taking St. John's wort as well. And as you would guess, the St. John's wort induced their liver enzymes and they started clearing that anti-rejection drug a lot more quickly and then went into rejection. Uh, they went into rejection from their organ transplant. So there are some very serious medical uh, medication interactions with St. John's wort. So I would always recommend asking a pharmacist, asking a doctor to run a medication interaction check if you think that you want to take St. John's wort. Some examples of medications that St. John's wort can cause your body to clear more quickly include statin medications that you um, can use for high cholesterol, um, omeprazole, which is used for like GERD, oxycodone, which is an opioid for pain, uh, phenytoin, other seizure medications, warfarin, which is used to prevent blood clots. So there's a lot of medication interactions. And then uh, tacrolimus, like an anti-rejection drug like I was talking about before. One of the positives with St. John's Ward is that there aren't, there doesn't appear to be a lot of side effects. So it's generally well tolerated. And that was shown in the meta-analysis as well. So less patients discontinued St. John's Ward than they did prescription SSRIs. There potentially are some cardiovascular issues. Uh, palpitations have been reported. There's some uh, dermatologic issues as well. So it increases photosensitivity. So people can get sunburnt more easily if they're on St. John's Ward. Um, and that same issue can happen in the eyes as well. So there's a potential link with St. John's Ward and cataracts as well, which is potentially scary, but it looks like population trials show that people with cataracts who have taken St. John's Ward have a higher, there's, a, there's potentially a connection there. Um, there's also potentially sexual dysfunction, which is often seen in medications that affect serotonin. It seems to be less common than with prescription SSRIs and antidepressants. Though. My experience with St. John's Word, I decided to give it a try to see if I would notice any differences or side effects. So I started it in the dead of winter. Um, I was using this product here, uh, 0.3. Hyperacin, uh, 300 milligram St. John's wort. I was taking it twice a day. After the first dose, I did notice some GI, like stomach ache side effects, but I remember by day three, I noted that I didn't have any further side effects. The This is what it looks like here. It's a small capsule, fine to take. It does have a little bit of an, like an herbally scent, but it's nothing overwhelming, no taste. Um, I took it for just over a month. I did potentially notice some mood changes. It wasn't um, sudden, quick. It was more of a gradual onset. Um, I remember I received some like feedback at work that was a, a little troublesome. I remember I was much more elastic than normal. So normally I would have been down or thinking about that for quite a long time, but I took the feedback in stride fell down for a little bit and then bounced right back up. So maybe it was helping with my mood a little bit in that way. Um, after that, just over a month, um, I did taper myself off of it. So I was taking it twice a day, which potentially is a, a lower dose, which I understand, but I went to once a day for three days and then stopped. I didn't notice any withdrawal um, or any rebound effects coming off of the St. John's Court. The main, issue, the main reason I went off of it was the risk with cataracts, so uh, it seems like there is a potential link there, and I'm relatively young, so taking something for a longer period of time might expose me to a greater risk of getting cataracts. Uh, looking at the overall evidence, it seems like St. John's Wort is likely effective for depression. It seems like it's likely safe. Um, there is that issue of cataracts I just talked about, and then there's a lot of medication interactions. So always check with someone before you start taking St. John's Wort if you're on other medications. Um, I hope that quick review was helpful and thank you for watching.